how to prevent lead shoulder fatigue. Now, the reason why the lead hand gets more fatigued than the rear hand is mostly down to being quite tight in terms of a defensive position. When they throw, it's more of an arm shot rather than rotating into it. And also, you get a large ratio of lead hand to backhand. You think about some of your combinations, double jab, backhand, that's a two to one ratio. Double jab, backhand, left hook is a three to one ratio. And then if you just think about single jabs and single lead hooks, that ratio is increasing. So that's probably why you're getting more fatigue in that lead hand than the backhand. So with all this activity, you're using it a lot more, so you're gonna end up being more fatigued, but also because you're using a lot more, it becomes more overactive and you're creating tightness and imbalances as well. They're gonna be weaker in your posterior shoulders, which means that this anterior shoulders working more, being overworked and feeling more fatigued. So the key things that we need to do is loosen off this shoulder, try and mobilize it. Then we need to look to stabilize the shoulder and strengthen it through controlled vertical pressing exercises, such as the landmine press or the kneeling single arm press, and definitely look to stabilize the shoulder by doing the kettlebell bottoms up press. Then also look to increase the strength and activation of the posterior shoulders. So doing stuff like band pull aparts, T raises, prone reverse flies. To mobilize that lead shoulder, we've got two types of exercises. We want one that will increase that overhead range, but also that kind of freedom of movement around the shoulder joint. And then the second exercise is to improve rotational mobility. So the first exercise is a standing windmill. We're just gonna go up against the wall and try and increase that range of motion. We're gonna try and keep our upper body facing forward, lower body facing forward. All oh, what's moving is the arm. And then the second exercise is one of our uh, traditional rotational exercises, it's the windmills. So we're locking the lower body down, the rib cage down, and we're just trying to increase that upper body rotation to the left hand side. To stabilize, what we're going to be using is some mini bands. So we're going to be uh, working on the wall, using the mini bands, touching out to the sides, but keeping that rib cage locked down, then shoulder blades pinned back. And this is creating that stability around the shoulder joint. We can, try, we can progress this in doing some uh, plank variations, either just touching out to the side or doing some lateral plank walks. This will help stabilize around that shoulder joint. And then the final section is to strengthen, where we can use single arm exercises rather than using your standard double arm exercise. So this is working on these imbalances. So one would be uh, more like a strength slash stability exercise using bottoms up kettlebell press. By gripping the kettlebell and the kettlebell being bottoms up, this will create a more stability demand and will really get them little muscles in your shoulder firing. And then we can progress that into dumbbell variation. So we can start loading it up more and really start to strengthen that shoulder joint.